And now, the Prime Minister has distanced himself from the Home Secretary, Swella Braverman's claim that homelessness is a lifestyle choice. Well, except she didn't really say that, did she? And despite, despite still pushing to stop tents being handed out to the homeless, Swella Braverman is facing a growing Tory backlash for clumsy and crass. Plans. Well, joining me now on the line is Nick Buckley, MBE. He's standing as an independent mayoral candidate for Greater Manchester and joins us right now. Uh, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, I mean, we really should go back to what Suella Braverman did actually say. I think, I think it, was, it, was, it was stupid language by her and she's got herself into her own hot water. But she did post a number of uh, messages on Twitter. Um, she said the UK should not become San Francisco or Los Angeles and warned against rough sleeping becoming a lifestyle choice as it was, as it is there. Now, I don't know how much it is a lifestyle choice. It's largely drug addicts um, in San Francisco and Los Angeles, but we are talking about a huge, I mean, thousands upon thousands of people on the streets of those cities just living, living rough and living on drugs. So very, very different from the scale of what we're seeing here. Um, but she wanted to stop, basically, tents being handed out to homeless people. She'd wanted that, we understand, to be in the King's speech. It wasn't there. We've had numerous cabinet ministers who've been on the airwaves recently going, yeah, I'm kind of distancing myself from what she's had to say. So did uh, uh, Rishi Sunak. I mean, is she completely wrong? Or does, is there a scintilla of truth in what she had to say? Yes, there is a large part of what she said is true. So rough sleeping is very complicated and we could spend days discussing it and looking at why people are sleeping on the streets. There is a proportion of people on the streets who you write are drug addicts, who are mentally unwell, who have broken all their family connections and have nowhere to go and end up on the streets. That then allows them to beg, which then gives them more drugs, which then breaks them even more. I've sat down with hundreds of these people in Manchester City Centre and you have a discussion about what help and support you want. We can get you off the streets. Sometimes we can get you off the streets that day. Do you want our help and support? And the most common answer is, no, I don't want your help because I need drugs in three, four hours time from now. And if I go with you now to get help and support, who's gonna sit here and beg and get me money for drugs? So yeah. even though I want to get help, even though I know I'm dying here, Today is not the right day for me to get help. And that's why we go back again and again and again and sit down with them. And we wait for the day and the time they're ready Just and the then we can help you catch them. them. I mean, we've often talked about people having to hit rock bottom. I think most people think you're living on the streets. There is rock bottom. But again, a lot of people don't want to go into shelters. Oh. You can't take your dog in, for instance. You say you won't be able to get the drugs or, or the shelter's just overnight and then you're back on the streets in the day mm. uh, and still, you know, easy prey for the, the drug dealers. But you, look, you've been at the sharp end of this. You're not coming to this as just someone who's sort of, you know, a, 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 an armchair campaigner. You, you actually worked for many years in a charity, leading a charity you founded yourself, trying to help people living on the streets. Yeah, and before that, I chaired a multi-agency meeting when I worked at Manchester Council, including NHS, the police, drug services. So I've been involved in this for, for over 20 years. Yeah, so you, I mean, you know what you're talking about. Um, there is an argument, isn't there, that handing out tents um, making it easier for people to stay sort of somehow on the streets is the same as remember Dame Louise Casey when she was the homelessness star under, was it Cameron or Blair? I can't remember, she's, she's done jobs for virtually mm. everyone. Basically say, don't give money, don't give money to people begging on the streets because you're just giving them money to buy their heroin, to buy uh, their crack, to buy their dope and buy their alcohol. And actually what you want to do is just notify, you know, outreach teams so they can go and get the help they need. Is, it, is handing out a tent, is that basically helping them to stay in the worst circumstances. Yeah, you're enabling someone to live and die on the streets. So th there's two issues here. The first issue is we have kind-hearted people doing the wrong things, thinking they're helping. Yeah. And they're not helping, they're making the situation worse. Now, instead of doing that, what we need to do and what the government should do also is we need to start holding councils accountable for their rough sleeping problem. And the reason why many people won't take the help and support on offer is because it's not good enough. Yeah. And that's hard to believe, but it's not good enough. Why do we not give rough sleepers a better 
level of service, customer choice, find out what they're willing to accept yeah. and then make sure that happens. It can often be somewhere in a hostel with other people who are violent, who are dangerous, who are drug addicts or alcoholics themselves. People, I know often people have said that actually they feel safer on the streets, they're more in control of their, their surroundings, they feel. Um, is it possible, just finally, just very briefly, yes or no, is it possible ever to get everyone off the streets? Yes. You can do we that. Did it, we did it over COVID. We did it over COVID. And I'm promising to do it in Greater Manchester in one year. Amazing. We'll talk to you about this again. Really appreciate you joining us. That is Nick Buckley, uh, a BE, amazing campaigner, uh, also standing as an independent candidate against uh, Andy Burnham, uh, Greater Manchester Mayor. Uh